My name is Dutsukong Kunu. This is my story. Growing up, um, it was never really um, something that I looked forward to. Um, I've always just played every single sport. I swam, I played water polo, played hockey, athletics, it's big into athletics. And it was just a getaway for me um, from a lot of things in my neighborhood. And it's something that I found a deep, a deep passion in. And growing up, I was kind of um, a head taller than most of my uh, friends. And uh, someone just said, you know, um, maybe look into rugby. And that's where I found my, my passion. But to be honest, I've never really thought it was going to be a dream and it's going to come true. My second time at King's Park, I think I was at, I was in grade 10. And um, so after the game, one of my mates says, let's go into the field. And I, I couldn't believe that um, you could actually go into the field and, and meet the players. And upon just wandering around in the field, he says, let's go and take a photo with the, with the players. And um, I happened to come across uh, Thomas and he's like, let's take a photo with Thomas and um, Thomas Dutoy. And we take a photo and um, I never really thought, you know, this photo, I'd look back onto it and this guy would be someone that I'm scrumming with. And a couple of years later, I found myself in the same change room uh, with Thomas Dutoy. I was that kid that never really socialized. I was very antisocial just because I was so busy with rugby. It took me away for most of the time. If I'm on tours, I used to be the kid that when everyone, most of my mates are out doing dodgy things, um, gathering together, planning, um, not so great things. I was the one who was taking walks to the gym, uh, training, coming back, leaving at eight, coming back only at three because I'm training at school. And in that way, I think, at the time, they never really thought it was something that's going to take form. So it hasn't really shaped my life only, but I think the people around me as well, it's really shaped their lives and their thinking. Um, something that I definitely look back onto myself is believing in myself, because it took a bit of time for me to actually believe that I can because of all the naysayers. So to the guys out there in similar situations, I'd say believe in yourself from a very young age and explore sports in as many as many ways as you can because it definitely does open doors um, you can use that as a vehicle into education free education and other stuff so for my side i definitely say believe in yourself don't stop make sure that when everyone is saying no you're saying yes you're the one person if everyone's saying no you're the one person that's saying, saying yes it's very important to believe in yourself and i wish i got told that from a young age i think it would have uh, shaped my life differently Growing up, uh, I didn't come from a very wealthy family and getting accepted from a young age uh, in grade 7, I remember I never got accepted at Masper College um, and at the time it was just my dream to go to such a prestigious school and I never got accepted and I remember I had gone to every single game uh, every Saturday to Masper College to and watch and when that letter came that i had been rejected, it really broke my heart but I never, I never, I never gave up. And uh, three months later, I got a call from my headmaster and he said, no, um, you need to be at the open day tomorrow at Masper College. And I said, I'm not accepted at Masper College. And he said, no, you are. So I went there um, and I ended up going into Masper College. And coming from a small school, p I'm amongst boys who went to Merkiston, Cordwallis. I never really thought of anything. Um, and in grade eight, when I came in, this one teacher said to me, you're gonna be head boy in your matric year. And I said, that's not gonna happen. I'm not, I'm, I don't come from a big school or anything like that. And going on, um, it was just really difficult at home because I was very involved in so many sports. And the one expect, obviously in rugby, my, it came to a family decision one day where the family called me and everyone was sitting down and they said, you're gonna have to stop playing rugby if you wanna carry on at Mesper College and it's either rugby or I leave Masbrook and play somewhere else at a cheaper school where my parents can actually afford. And I just made my parents a promise that to just give me one more year, I'm gonna fight to try and get into an A team and potentially get a scholarship. And I just kept on working every holiday and I ended up in grade 11 getting a full scholarship, going into the BE, and um, that's where it kind of changed, everything changed and I was fortunate enough to play Craven Week and the Sharks came and I think that took a lot of weight um, off my parents' shoulders and I was 
uh, fortunate enough to be first team rugby captain and head boy in my matric year. And like I said, if I believed in myself from a young age, I think it would have shaped my, shaped my life differently. And um, I saw that moment when the family came together, I really saw um, what it meant for them and for me, but I had to make them believe that I really care about what I do and I want to succeed.